हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रोचिंग मशीन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रोच अवेलेबल एंड द जियोमेट्री ऑफ ब्रोच टूल एंड सिमिलरली वी हैव मेनली डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दैट ब्रोचिंग मशीन दैट वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ब्रोचिंग मशीन विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल टू अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रोचिंग मशीन सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ the types of broaching machine and in which the first type of broaching machine that is based on the power employed so that means how this broaching machine is operated based on this the broaching machines are divided as it may be a manually operated or it may be power operated so based on this condition this broaching machine can be divided the another way that is based on the direction of movement of the broach so based on that the broach machine can be divided in which direction this broach tool is moving so according to that this broach tool may be moving in horizontal direction or it may be moving in vertical direction so this is the sub classification according to this main direction of movement of broach the third way to divide this broaching machine that is based on cutting and based on cutting this broaching machine are divided such as this broaching machine may be a push type broaching machine it may be a pull type broaching machine and it may be continuous type broaching machine so these are the three different ways by which cutting action takes less the fourth one that is the based on type of drive so how actual broaching movement is obtained according to that this type of drive is arranged that means it may be mechanical drive or it may be a hydraulic drive so power transmission may takes place by means of mechanical devices or by means of hydraulic devices so this is the another classification based on type of drive and the last one that is the based on number of pull heads that means if this single head is pulled or if the multiple heads are available so these are the ways this broaching machine is divided and according to the different application there are different types of broaching machines are available and these broaching machines are nothing but the combination of different types of this classification so now we will discuss about some of the important broaching machine which are mostly available in the industrial practices so from that the first one that is the horizontal broaching machine and the concept of horizontal broaching machine is similar to that of working principle we have discussed in the push type of broaching machine so if you see this is the basic similar figure to that of the push type push type of broaching machine so here simply if the broaching tool is moved in horizontal direction and the material is removed from the workpiece then that type of machine is called as the horizontal broaching machine and the working principle for this broaching machine is similar workpiece is stationary and this broaching tool is given movement on this workpiece according to the requirement and the material is removed from the progressively moving teeth so the horizontal broaching machine is useful for machining of both internal and external surfaces and 
Horizontal internal broaching machines ranges from 2 to 60 tons and the stroke length is up to 3 meter. And the horizontal external or surface broaching machines are available up to 100 tons and its stroke length is up to 9 meter. So these are the different variations available in this horizontal broaching machine. Similarly, another one machine that is the vertical pool type broaching machine. So this machine has similar concept to that of the pool type broaching machine. But if the movement of broaching tool is happening in the vertical direction then it is called as the vertical pool type broaching operation. And if that operation is performed on vertical broaching machine then it is entirely named as vertical pool type broaching machine. And the figure for the same that you can see over here. The working principle is similar. The workpiece remains stationary and this broaching tool moves in upward and downward direction in vertical path. So here pull force is given that means the force is given from the front pilot and the movement is obtained. And what is the front pilot that we have discussed in the broach geometry. So simply this workpiece is stationary this broach tool has given movement in downward direction or it is pulled in the downward direction and as broach tool moves in forward direction in progressively then it removes the material from the workpiece. So this is the basic working of this vertical pull type broaching machine. The third one that is continuous broaching machine. And this continuous broaching machine it may be a horizontal type or it may be a vertical type. So simple working principle is shown in this figure and the main difference from above to machine is that in continuous broaching machine Keep this in mind, this workpiece is moving and tool remains stationary. So this is the major difference compared to the other two machines that we have discussed. The construction is shown over here, the two wheels are provided over which as you can see over here, one path is provided and on that path different work pieces are provided. And these work pieces are moving continuously as these wheels are rotating and this movement is such that these all work pieces moves from the broach as shown over here. And this broach has multiple teeth available over it and as per requirement the arrangement is given between the workpiece and the broach tool shown over here. And as these workpiece are moving against this broach tool there are chances of movement of the broach tool which may deteriorate the machining surface. So that's why over the broach tool this backup plate is provided which helps to support the broach tool. Other parts are similar and the working operation is similar to that of the horizontal or vertical broaching machine. So as you can see this is the horizontal direction as the cutting is taking place in horizontal direction so we can say it as horizontal continuous broaching machine. And as you can see these workpiece are moving continuously over the broaching tool and that's why this machine has given name continuous broaching machine. So these are the simple discussion about this continuous broaching machine. The next one that is the keyway broaching machine and this keyway broaching machine that is the very simpler arrangement of this broaching machine. And if as this broaching machine is used to generate the keyways on the shafts or to generate the keyways on particular holes available and that's why this is called as the keyway broaching machine. And this is the general purpose machine tool which is used to generate the keyways. And as you can see 
the movement of the broach tool is very easy it is moved in forward direction or in backward direction and has given maybe a pull type or maybe a push type force as per the requirement and as per the workpiece material available so this is simple figure shown which interprets or which gives the brief idea how this keyways can be generated by using this broaching machine now as we have discussed the push type and pull type force is required based on the workpiece material that means if the workpiece material is variable based on this this tool material is also needs to be selected so the tool material selected as per the workpiece material are available that are in normal cases high carbon steel is used as a tool material if the strength of the workpiece is comparatively higher then high speed steel is used as a tool material and if the workpiece is very hard and very tough to break at that time mostly cemented carbide tool or the tool having cemented carbide tip is used for machining purpose that means if the workpiece is very hard at that time cemented carbide tool is used so these three tool materials are mostly used for any of the machining purpose as per the workpiece material available so in this lecture we have discussed about different types of broaching machine and how this machine performs as per the requirement so looking forward to see you all in our next lecture up to then thank you